Now what we're going to do is we're going to learn how we can enhance our images, working with ways to brighten it up, sharpen it, and much, much more. So I'm going to work off of slide one, the image I brought in our last lesson, and just simply double click on that image to bring up my picture format contextual tab. Now, let's go ahead and see what options we have here for enhancing our pictures. Now, if we look over here on the left-hand side, we start off with this little sunshine that says corrections. And if you hover your mouse over it, it's gonna tell you, you can improve the brightness, contrast, or the sharpness of a picture. If I click on that, I get a little drop down, and then notice how it's broken out into two sections. One is called sharp and soften, Another is called brightness and contrast. Well, if you don't know what any of those things mean, the good news is, is that you can hover your mouse over any of these and you'll see a difference. So let's just say, for example, this picture is not nearly bright enough. So I could just hover my mouse over one of these and notice how right away I get a little notification and I also get my preview. So the notification just tells me this is brightness plus 20%, contrast minus 20%. And let's go over to here. You'll see how that's a little bit more tamed. That's going to bring down the contrast 20%, but keep the brightness as it originally was. Just keep hovering until I find one I like, and I'm going to stick at that one for a little more contrast. I really like that. Now, if I want to improve the sharpness, you can see it's a little more subtle, but it can really make a difference. And if I go over to here to kind of extreme, it's going to be completely softened. Go over to here, it's going to have a little more sharpened edges. I'm going to go over to here somewhere in the middle. Really like that. So really great way just to very quickly improve on images that you've received that maybe could use some enhancement. All right, now these guys like color, you're going to see here I have color saturation, color tone, and recolor. I don't really work with a lot of these. I'd say the main one for coming here is A for creativity. If you just kind of want to be a little bit different, you can just kind of make something stand out like that. And B, I really like it just to make something black and white. Right, you can see I do that, I click away, and there it is transformed into a black and white or grayscale image. And if I wanted to switch that back, let's go ahead and go back to color, and you'll see here I have my saturation back to 100%. And just as a note, if you wanted to add in a little more color, of course you can go saturation 400%, 300%, etc. Bringing it back to 100% brings it back to its original state. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, artistic effects are something that's gained a lot of popularity looking on your smartphones. And essentially, these are gonna be little filters depending on how creative you wanna get. So this is really just a very much a spice to taste thing. So I'll just go ahead and hover over this mosaic one and you can see what that's going to do. Let's go ahead and go over to this one. You can see for glass, it gives us this nice glass effect. Now, one thing to notice is that for every single one of these, you have the ability to add on different options to these. So if I've chosen one and I wanna go either a little bit less or a little bit more on these, I can do that. So if I choose artistic effect options, you're gonna see on the right hand side, I get this format picture side pane. And you'll notice here is my artistic effects. I can click on that. And then once again, let's go ahead and choose that glass. And I don't want so much glass, I can bring up or down the transparency as well as the scaling. So let's go ahead and make that less pronounced. You'll see I've got a little bit of a glass, but not quite as much. Bringing the image back a little bit and the scaling, take a look what that does as I click and drag. Now, depending on which artistic effect you choose, these options are gonna also vary. So let's go ahead and try a completely different one. Let's go over here back to our mosaic and you see I have that one. And now notice I have transparency and grid size. Let's bring up the grid size, see exactly what that does. And that can be kind of interesting. And I bring up the transparency, you're gonna see some of that original image come back. So again, really up to your creative needs. I'm gonna choose reset to bring that back, but all that is worth exploring and definitely spice to taste. Now we're talking about transparency, as the name implies, it's gonna allow you to see through the image. So let's just say, for example, I wanted to kind of see through this a little bit and have this kind of vaguely have in the background, but have them kind of interplay with each other. You can be very creative, kind of creating the illusion of depth. So if I click on transparency, you'll notice as I hover over, it's gonna make it seem like they're kind of part of the same thing. See that darker, darker, lighter, 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 so now I just kind of have like a little glimpse, a little whisper of that picture and also the text because I'm seeing through that image to be able to see what text is underneath it. Okay, so again, you might want to do that for creative effect and also for creating the illusion of depth, but also giving people a little bit more of a visual interest on your slide. So I'm going to go ahead and click away, bring that back to where I was before. 
Now we're coming over to this side, compressed picture. It's gonna allow you to resize the picture in case your deck is coming a little bit too big. That gives you some nice options. Changing the picture allows you to change it out for another picture. So if I click on that, you can change it out for another picture on your device or any of the other options that we saw before, and it'll bring it right into the place that it's currently at. So really, really nice. Now let's go over to here to these picture styles. Essentially, a style is just a saved format. And PowerPoint has gone through the trouble to save you some time by giving you some preset formats. So again, let's hover over to see what's available. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hover my mouse over here, and you're gonna see I get this simple frame white. And just like that, I get this nice little white frame with a little shadow around it. Let's try this one, it's gonna be a bigger frame. Let's go to that one, All right? Nice little inset frame, no frame, but it has a little shadow. You can see rounded corners, and all of this is gonna be very much a spice to taste for you, but a lot of really nice creative options for you to really get images that you might not be able to figure out on your own. You can just hover over and then finally you select it, and you know what, I really like that. Let me bring that in, and you can see, now I've got a rounded corner, I've got a reflection, and also I've got this nice little frame around it. Very neat, wouldn't be able to do that on my own, and it only took me a couple of clicks to get there. Now, coming to this section, it does allow you to work with different kinds of borders. In this preset picture styles, it did already give me a border, but if I wanted to override that or do anything else with it, I can. So in this case, let's go ahead and go to a completely different image and see what we can do. I'm gonna come down here to this image here where we have our four pictures of our leadership team. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on old Fred here, and then I'm gonna double click it to do what? To bring back to my picture format. Now it might create the illusion that he does have a frame around him, but in fact he doesn't because this is just another shape around him. So what I'm gonna do now is just simply go over here to picture border, and that's gonna give me all these color options to add. And it's also gonna give me the weight option in terms of how thick that border is gonna be. And also I can be a little more creative about sketching them out a little bit more light and fun. So let's go ahead and just put on a purple border around Fred, that's his favorite color. And I'm gonna make that a little bit thicker. Go over here to six, very good. And then let's go ahead and play around with this little sketch option and let's just do something like that. So pretty neat, I kinda of like that. Now, let's say for example, I love this for Fred and Carol, Nina, and Seema also want that same exact thing. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna use the Format Painter to be able to apply that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select him one time, and I actually don't need to be in the picture format for this. What I'm gonna do next is go over to here to my clipboard group, and I'm going to double click on my Format Painter. Why am I double clicking? Well, if I single click on it, I'm only gonna be able to apply it to one of these. If I double click, I'm gonna be able to copy that format and apply it to multiple. So watch this as I double click, Notice my mouse becomes this little brush. I'm going to simply click once, click again, and then click again, and then go right back. And now, very cool, I've got all four of them with that nice little purple fun border. Let's now return back to the image we were just working on earlier. Come back over here to slide number five, and I'm gonna double click back on it. And I want us to learn how we can work with our picture effects. Now this one's already got a picture effect on it, which is a reflection. And again, how did I get that? By choosing one of our picture styles, presets. But I'm gonna go over to here, go over to picture effects, and I want you to notice all the wonderful effects we have available to ourselves, including reflection. Now this one currently has a reflection, so I'm gonna turn that off. And you can see very easily that can be turned off. So the takeaway here is that you've got control. Even though it's part of that preset, doesn't mean you gotta keep it. So let's go back to your picture effects. And then let's just play around with some of these, like shadow. What's that gonna look like? Well, I add on a little shadow. You'll see the shadow appears very ever so slightly in the upper right. Let's go ahead and turn that off for a second. Notice how that disappears. And you can see what that's doing. It's giving you a sense of dimension, giving you a sense of realism. Let's go ahead and do the other side. See how that kind of shifted? Try another one try another one. And this would be more pronounced if we didn't have the border. So let's just try that now. Let's go back to picture border and let's learn how we can turn it off. I'm gonna say no outline. And now let's try it one more time, picture effect, go to shadow, and now you'll see a lot more on either side of that image. Great, 
Okay, and then bam, that's a pretty nice one. You can see offset center. And again, it looks like it's kind of coming off the slide. Now, all of these are definitely worth exploring. There's quite a bit to unpack in terms of a reflection, a glow, soft edges, etc. But the thing I want you to take away here is that every single one of them will come up with extra options. That is a big, big takeaway because that's going to give you all the control in the world that's going to go beyond any of these presets they have here. And you'll notice with this format picture side pane that I have here, all the ones that we were just talking about, all their options are already here. But if it was not here pre-existing, all I need to do is click on picture effects. And then for example, let's choose shadow and then come way down to the bottom to shadow options. And now this will appear. So at this point, what I suggest is pause the video and really get comfortable with all your picture format options. Make sure you can understand on how to do corrections like sharpness, brightness, contrast, working with some of our color options, some of the artistic effects and the transparency, working with some of our picture styles, the border, and definitely some of those picture effects. And don't forget to go over to your extra options there to see what more tools you have available. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.